ahead and start in Schoology where we'll click Add Materials and then choose Google Assignments from the right hand side. It will ask you to confirm that you are logged in to your correct Google account and then you can create your assignment by adding your total points, by adding a due date, by adding a title, and any instructions that you need to add to this particular assignment. If you're unfamiliar with Google Assignments, some other options available to you are using their Google rubric. If you already have one, you can reuse it or you can create one here on the spot. Unfortunately for Google Jamboard, the plagiarism check is not available. However, you can attach files. You'll go ahead and click Attach. From here, you can search your files. One substantial difference from Google Assignments versus a Google Classroom is that you can only offer your files that make a digital copy for each student. You cannot have where everyone can view or where everyone can edit. When you're finished, click Create. Try not to touch anything. It looks like it's going to prompt you to confirm, but if you touch this, it, you'll have to do the assignment all over again. All right, so here's our assignment. You can see that it is not yet on our calendar and there's no information underneath of the assignment either. So I'm going to go into the Schoology gear to click Edit and I'm going to add my points, my due date, and my category under the Enable Grading Options. This is just confirming all the information you put in the assignment. It's now translating that for Schoology. So Schoology can add it to the gradebook and add it to the calendar. You'll also see that you do have the option to individually assign like you would for other assignments. A great option for projects. Now I have that important information under the assignment and when I refresh my page I also have the option of the due date and the upcoming over on the right side navigation. Another difference from a regular Schoology assignment is to see if a student's completed the work you do have to click into the assignment and then you'll see a list of your students and whether or not it's been submitted or if they're still working on it, it will say assigned. You can click in to view their work, but with the Jamboard, it will only show you the first page and it's a view only file. You'll still need to click into their Google Jamboard to be able to go through each of their frames. But once you're ready, you can go back into the Google assignment and use their rubric and it will automatically calculate that grade when you click return, this will send the information back to Schoology, and when you click on the Schoology gradebook, the grade will be there as well.